is being conducted electronically pursuant to Governor Bill Lee's executive order number 16. I would ask for a motion that conducting the meeting electronically is necessary to protect the public health, safety, and welfare in light of the coronavirus. Mr. Gurley. Mr. Chairman, I so move. I have a motion. Is there a second? Thank second. You. Commissioner Serino. Any questions? Without objection, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner David Gammon? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Cush? Commissioner Cush? Commissioner Reed? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Votes yes. Votes yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Vote yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Vote yes. 20 yes. Motion passes. Madam Clerk, did you see uh, Commissioner Cush? He's on the line. Oh, I'm sorry. He must have been on mute when you called him, but uh, let the record reflect that he is present. Followed by pounds. All right. <clears throat> Members, tonight we have, a, uh, uh, we have a special guest with us to lead us in prayer, uh, Andrew Farr. Please enter the meeting passcode, followed by pound. Okay, somebody needs to mute whatever their device they're on. Okay, everybody please mute. Okay, tonight we have Andrew Farr. Andrew is newly elected. He's from Murfreesboro, but he's the newly elected VFW State of Tennessee Chaplain for the Veterans of Foreign Wars. He's with us tonight and will uh, come up and, and lead us in our prayer. Immediately following that, uh, I'll ask Commissioner Gooch to lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance and Pledge to the Tennessee State Flag. With all members and guests, please stand. Amen. We just to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. White stars on a field of blue, God keep them strong and ever true. It is with pride and love that we salute the flag of Tennessee. Please be seated. I, I, I think our IT forgot to post the words. All right, call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon? Here. Is here. Commissioner Piercy? Here. Is here. Commissioner Rather? Here. Is here. Commissioner P? Here. Is here. Commissioner Cook? Here. Is here. Commissioner Buchanan? Here. Is here. Commissioner Cush? Yes, here. Is, is here. Commissioner Reed? Here. Is here. Commissioner Gurley? Here. Is here. Commissioner Blair? Here. Is here. Commissioner Allen? Here. Is here. Commissioner Stevens? Here. Is here. Commissioner Johnson? Here. Is here. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Here. Is here. Commissioner Harris? 
Here. Is here. Commissioner Dodd? Here. Is here. Commissioner Phillips? Here. Is here. Commissioner McAdoo? Here. Is here. Commissioner Key? Here. Is here. Commissioner Gooch? Here. Is here. Commissioner Serenio? Here. Is here. 21 present. We have a quorum. Thank you, Madam Clerk. I uh, certainly appreciate that. We're, we're now ready to conduct our business tonight. Uh, I'll call on uh, Chairman Pro Tem, Jeff Phillips, uh, for the approval of the minutes. Thank you, Mayor Ketron. I've reviewed the minutes to our uh, February meeting. I find them to be in order and move that we dispense with the reading and that they be adopted as presented. Any questions without objection? Call the roll. Have a motion and a second. Second, Commissioner Johnson. Call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Vote yes. 21 yes. Motion passes. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Move on to item number F. We have a presentation by resolution tonight. I call on uh, Commissioner Wayne Blair to make this presentation. Commissioner Blair, you're recognized in the well. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, commissioners and guests. Uh, it is my honor tonight to have the opportunity to read a resolution of congratulations to Judy Goodwin. And uh, I'm going to ask uh, Ms. Goodwin and her entourage to, uh, to join me at the well. I'm going to keep my mask off, but when I get through, I will put it back on so you can address the commission if you would like. Well, so, I, 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 was, I, I, I was, think you flattered Steve by calling him an entourage. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mayor and I were talking prior, and he reminded me that you also won this award back in 2009. So uh, congratulations, and uh, again, we're pleased to honor you tonight. So I'm going to read the resolution. Whereas Rutherford County Commissioners have the privilege of recognizing individuals in the community who exemplify commitment, determination, dedication, and excellence, and whereas Judy Goodwin has served Rutherford County well for 49 years as an educator with 21 of those years as principal of Barfield Elementary School, and whereas Ms. Goodwin has demonstrated a dedication to excellence in education that has earned respect respect and affection from her students and faculty and inspires with great creativity and enthusiasm and whereas Judy Goodwin has been named the 2021 Rutherford County Schools Principal of the Year and now therefore be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners at its regular session on this the 11th day of March 2021 does hereby extend exuberant Congratulations to Judy Goodwin, the 2021 Rutherford County Schools Principal of the Year, and wish her much success as re representative for the 2021 Teacher Tennessee Principal of the Year. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution of congratulations be forwarded to Ms. Goodwin by the clerk of the legislative body, and I'm actually going to do that tonight myself. So, resolve this the 11th day of March 2021. Mr. Chairman, I so move. I have a motion. Is there a second? I have a second. Commissioner P. Without objection, call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. 
Vote yes, Commissioner Rather. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner P. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Cook. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Buchanan. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Cush. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Reed. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Gurley. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Blair. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Allen. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Stevens. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Johnson. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Gammon. Yes, well deserved. Vote yes, Commissioner Harris. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Dodd. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Phillips. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner McAdoo. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Key. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Gooch. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Sereno. Yes. Vote yes. 21 yes, motion passes. I never want to miss an opportunity to talk a minute about education. I call it a sacred career. And I believe myself to be an advocate for children. But I also know that you are too. We as educators can only do our job as well as the support that we have. And that includes, of course, our staff, our stakeholders, and the county commission, our Rutherford County Schools Board of Education. You have jobs that are very, very hard, and you have hard decisions to make. But the decisions that you make that invest in our children are investing in our future. And we truly, truly appreciate that. We know that your hearts are with us in that. I'm only as good standing here as the people that surround me and I have to give a great shout out to our Rutherford County Schools Board of Education and the leadership of Mr. Spurlock this year gathering together a committee back in June to try to reopen our schools has made it happen. It was a bold and courageous move to make. While other systems were stymied, not knowing how to put our people back to work by putting our children in schools, how to keep education going, we, for we forge forward. We move forward. It was scary at times. Every person in our school buildings have gone beyond imaginable things to do those things, to keep our kids safe, to keep education moving, and keep our uh, community moving and thriving. I can't say enough about what I have seen this year. 49 years in education, and honestly, this is the most exciting year of my career because I have seen staff and community come together to make it happen. And as I said, other systems are still wondering how they should do it. Come to Rutherford County and talk. We didn't, it wasn't perfect and there were times we didn't please people, but we had to do what we had to do. And I really applaud Mr. Spurlock for the courage that he showed in doing that. I also have to give a shout out to our Barfield uh, faculty and staff. I tell them all the time, you make me look good. And uh, I truly am sincere when I say that. And you make Rutherford County look good. You improve the quality of life by the decisions that you make. And again, I want to say how appreciative we are of you. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. All right. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations again, Judy. Um, <clears throat> some of you uh, have been around long enough, but uh, may not have put the connected the dots. But Steve's father served in this prestige body here. Uh, former sheriff, former county commissioner Robert Goodwin um, is Steve's father. So uh, uh, sev several of us served with as Carol and and uh, uh, Commissioner McAdoo. Who else was here? Uh, Steve Sandlin, he's in the back, uh, but uh, 
he served Rutherford County well, and so the tradition continues. Thank you, and, and congratulations again, Judy. Okay, members, next uh, we have no public comments tonight signed up, so I'll go ahead. We've got 15 minutes before we get into public notices, so I'll call on uh, G, item G. Commissioner Reed, if you'll please come forward for elections and confirmations. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In elections and confirmations, item one, elect of notaries. Listings of notaries may be found in your iPads, commissioners. Mr. Chairman, I move to confirm the elections of these individuals as Rutherford County notaries. Second. I have a motion and I have a second on confirmation. Any objection? Call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Vote yes. 21 yes. Motion passes. Item 2, steering wishes to confirm Jason Smith for the Public Building Authority to fill the remaining term of a retiring member, term to expire January 2022. Mr. Chairman, I so move. I have a motion. Second. I have a second. Commissioner Rather, without objection, call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Vote yes. 21 yes. Motion passes. Item 3. Steering wishes to confirm the reappointment of Steve Harrison to the Smyrna Rutherford County Airport Authority, term to expire March of 2026. Mr. Chairman, I so move. Second. I have a motion. We have a second. Commissioner second. Second. Have, have another second. Without objection, call the roll. Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Vote yes. Commi Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Vote yes. 
Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Vote yes. 21 yes. Motion passes. Item 4, steering would like to announce three vacancies for the redistricting committee, one citizen at large, and two county commissioners. Mr. Chairman, that concludes the business of the election confirmations. Thank you, sir. Next members will go to uh, <coughs> resolution to approve the consent agenda. Chairman Pro Tem Phillips, you're recognized. Thank you, Mayor Catherine. I reviewed the consent agenda. I find all these items appropriate to be on the consent agenda, and without exception, I move that the consent agenda be adopted as presented. I have a motion for adoption. Is there a second? Second, Commissioner Cook. Any questions or discussion? Seeing none, without objection, call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Vote yes. <laughs> Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Vote yes. 21 yes. Motion passes. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, we have no unfinished business at this time. We still have about seven minutes before we get to our public hearing. What I'd like to do, I'm going to drop on down while we're waiting for that uh, 6.30 number to, to appear. I'm going to go ahead and move to item number two. J2, which will be Health and Education Committee Resolution Support of House Bill 48 and Senate Bill 1056. Commissioner Blair, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Madam Chairman uh, Allen, did you want to say anything to the Commission before or after I read the resolution? I'll set it up for you just a little bit. Um, Doug Bottery brought it to our attention at Health and Education that the um, online gambling proceeds, that revenue was just now beginning to be generated and it was initially earmarked or is currently earmarked for education through the lottery system. This is new revenue, so it's not like we're taking money away from anybody. Um, um, Senator Shane Reigns is one of the sponsors of this bill. Um, there is a draft of that also on your iPad, so you can see that, um, so you better understand what the what, what it is we're supporting. But basically, we're asking for our legislative delegation to support the bill and change it so that the allocation is given back to um, schools in order for us to fund capital projects specifically, since there is no current funding mechanism via the state for capital projects like this. So I asked um, Commissioner Blair if he would mind um, reading this for us since he's there in the room. I don't always know how the audio is going to translate, but um, I'm happy to try to field any questions if you have them. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Resolution in support of House Bill 48 and Senate Bill 1056 regarding distribution on sports wagering privilege tax to public school systems. Whereas TCA 4-51-304 imposes a privilege tax on licensed entities who offer sports wagering services in Tennessee equal to 20% of a licensee's monthly adjusted gross income and whereas under the current version of TCA 
501-304, of said privilege tax collected must be distributed to the Lottery for Education account created under TCA 4-51-111 and whereas House Bill 48 and Senate Bill 1056, copies of which are attached hereto as collected Exhibit A, proposed to amend TCA 4-51-304 to provide that 80% of said privilege tax shall be allocated for use by public school systems for the construction and maintenance of school buildings instead of being deposited into the Lottery for Education account and whereas the Board of Commissioners believe that it is in the best interest of the citizens of Rutherford County that funds collected pursuant to said privilege tax be used by public public school systems for the construction and maintenance of school buildings as proposed by House Bill 48 and Senate Bill 1056. Now, therefore be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that this body does hereby show our support for House Bill 48 and Senate Bill 1056. Be it further resolved that the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that it respectfully request the Rutherford County Legislative Delegate to co-sponsor House Bill 48 and Senate Bill 1056 or otherwise vote to approve the same. Be it further resolved that the county clerk shall send copies of this resolution to the members of the General Assembly representing Rutherford County resolve this the 11th day of March 2021. Mr. Chairman, I so move. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Second from... Commissioner Rother, without objection, call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Gurley. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Blair. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Allen. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Stevens. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Johnson. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Virgil Gammon. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Harris. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Dodd. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Vote yes. 21 yes. Motion passes. <coughs> Motion passes. Um, we have just a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead, members, and move to item number three, four, five, six. Uh, we'll get that out of the way and clear it off the agenda. Property Management Committee, no report. Public Safety Committee, no report. Public Works and Planning Committee, no report. Steering Legislative Governmental Committee, no report. <coughs> Commissioner. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, commissioners, we are, uh, what we announced is we're looking for applications for commissioners for redistricting. Um, one of the things that I've always done is I've always been transparent with all of y'all. I've always taken your uh, advice to heart. I am asking for a short discussion. Uh, and we don't have to say anything if you don't want to, but I want to know if, you, if there's any questions that you gentlemen might want to pass to me and to this uh, steering committee that you might want to give us advice on what to look for with commissioners and citizens at large. So I know I'm kind of putting you on the spot right here, but I just wanted to come up here and just, you know, this is a really big uh, uh, step. This happens every 10 years. It's gonna affect a lot of people in here. And one of the things that I wanna do is if there's any, uh, any discussion at all that you have on how to uh, help the steering committee, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you uh, could speak up. Thank you, uh, Chairman. 
Okay, it is now time for our uh, public hearing. I would call on uh, our planning director, Mr. Massey. Mr. recognized. Thank you, Mayor Kitchen, and good evening, Commissioners and Mayor. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. I just have uh, one item for your consideration. One of our responsibilities is to evaluate when changes may be needed to the zoning ordinance. This is an ongoing process, and the amendments before you, which are on your iPads, are part of that ongoing evaluation. Uh, we're bringing two amendments tonight. Uh, one, some amendments for accessory dwelling units, and then also some for major home-based businesses. For accessory dwelling units, or ADUs, uh, we felt that allowing an increase to the size of a by right attached ADU, sometimes you see them attached to the principal structure, sometimes they're detached. Right now, we allow them to be 25% of the gross floor area of the home. Uh, we felt that a good idea for this would be to change that to 50%, which would allow us an opportunity for a more streamlined approval process for those. We could do those by right, but would also remove such cases from the Board of Zoning Appeals consideration. It also allows the planning staff a little more flexibility in approving various appearance options as well. For the major home-based businesses, the Board of Zoning Appeals, or BZA, has the latitude to allow for additional accessory space, detached accessory space, beyond 500 feet that's allowed for a minor home-based business, but does not have that same latitude when it comes to the number of employees, business vehicles, or customer visits to the property. Changing the standards as we are proposing would give the BZA more flexibility in making those decisions while still retaining the ability to limit those items on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, I would like to point out that these are only changes to the major home-based businesses. Minors, which we approve administratively, would remain unchanged. Uh, we did bring these amendments to the Planning Commission at their January 25th, 2021 meeting for discussion, and then again for a public hearing at their February 8th meeting. Uh, there was very little discussion on these amendments at that time, and they were recommended approved by a unanimous vote. Uh, I can go into as much or as little detail with these amendments as you wish, but I'm here to answer any questions that you may have. Are there any qu <coughs> questions from Mr. DeMossi? Any questions? Seeing or hearing none, I would call our Rutherford County uh, Commission meeting into recess to hold a public hearing on this request. Public hearing is now in session. Anyone desiring to speak for or against this issue, please come forward. State your name, your address, and if you're for or against the proposed request. Seeing no one come forward, I declare the public hearing closed and the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners back into session. Is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the zoning ordinance amendment ORD 21-001. Have a motion. Is there a second? A second, Commissioner Johnson. Any questions? Objections? Seeing without objection, call the roll, Madam Clerk. Mr. Chairman, can we incorporate yes. the two or do they need to be separate? I decline, I just uh, digress on that question. Okay. Call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Blair. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Allen. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Stevens. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Johnson. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Virgil Gammon. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Harris. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Dodd. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Phillips. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner McAdoo. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Key. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Gooch. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Sereno. Yes. Vote yes. 21 yes, motion passes. Motion passes, thank you. thank you, Director. All right, members, this leads us to uh, last item on the agenda tonight as um, our Budget Finance and Investment Committee. Chairman, 
They recognize. Might get out of here early tonight. Hmm? <laughs> Don't jinx it. All right. We actually have three uh, items that's on the regular agenda, but we also have three items that showed up under other business. And since I'm last, I was going to ask permission to put these together, but being last, we'll just keep keep going after we get the first three. The reason the three were brought up under other business is because we didn't have the information at the time our committees that oversee these issues met. The first issue that we'll be looking at uh, is L, item L1A, a resolution, whereas there is a need to plan for and construct schools due to growth in the area, and whereas the Rutherford County Board of Education has anticipated the future needs of the school system, whereas the Rutherford County Board of Education desires to close the projects accounting for Rocky Fork Elementary and Rockville High Schools and provide additional funds for architects, engineering, and site developments for Plainview Elementary School, fund engineering for four new projects, and place remaining funds in reserve for a future elementary school in the following amounts as approved by the various county committees. Rocky Fork Elementary School, $3,791,576. Rockville High School, $508,211. Future Secondary School, $112,567. A future elementary school, $1,788,301. Plainview Elementary School, $1,215,553. The new projects are Smyrna Middle School Annex renovation for $275,000, the Rockvale Middle School addition for $329,250, Stewart's Creek Middle School addition for $329,250, and Rockvale Elementary School Annex $475,000. Therefore, be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that funding amendments among the project as detailed herein be authorized. Resolved this 11th day of March 2021. Mr. Chairman, I so move. I have a motion. Is there Second. Second. Commissioner Reed and others. Any questions, objections? Call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Vote yes. 21 yes. Motion passes. Okay, the next item on our agenda is item L1B. And this is actually where we're uh, getting some more money from a grant. Whereas Rutherford County Fire Rescue was awarded the 2017 Assistance to Firefighters Fire Prevention Grant from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security in October 2018 for the purchase, promotion, and installation of free smoke alarms to low-income and disabled citizens of Rutherford County. And whereas Fire Rescue received an extension through September 30th, 2021 to utilize the remaining funds. Therefore, be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that the county mayor and all other appropriate officials of Rutherford County, Tennessee, be and are hereby authorized to accept the extension through September 30th, 2021 for the 2017 Assistance to Firefighters Fire Prevention Grant 
from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security for the purchase, promotion, and installation of free smoke alarms to low-income and disabled citizens of Rutherford County, and the general fund be amended as follows to recognize program revenues and to appropriate said proceeds. <coughs> Excuse me. Increase revenue $52,491. Increase expenditures of overtime pay, Social Security, pensions, employer uh, accounts, Medicare, and contacted services. And I believe that's a total down there of 42403. And uh, part of this will be from a decrease of unassigned fund balance of $2,625. Resolved this 11th day of March 2021. Mr. Chairman, I so move. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Second, Commissioner Serino, Commissioner Reed. Without objection, call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan. Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Phillips. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner McAdoo. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Key. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Gooch. Yes. Vote yes, Commissioner Sereno. Yes. Vote yes. 21 yes, motion passes. Okay, our next item is item L1C, and this is actually a Smyrna Rutherford County Airport Authority project financing. Uh, whereas the Smyrna Rutherford County Airport Authority, the authority, is a joint venture between Rutherford County and the town of Smyrna and is governed by a board of directors. And whereas the board of directors of the authority desire to develop two projects on authority property consisting of a new hangar and the extension of Thunderbird Drive and the various utilities with a cost of $9,330,000. And whereas the authority intends to fund the project with a grant from the Tennessee Department of Transportation in the amount of $1,900,000 and a grant from the Tennessee Valley Authority in the amount of $350,000, the use of the authority's fund balance in the amount of $1,100,000 and the bond issued by Rutherford County in the approximate amount of $6,050,000 and whereas the authority will pay back the bond amount plus interest and insurance costs over a period of 15 years on a monthly basis. <clears throat> Therefore, be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that funding for the authority projects and an approximate of $6,050,000 be authorized from a future bond issue with payback of the bond amount plus interest and insurance cost over a period, a period of 15 years on a monthly basis. Resolved this 11th day of March, 2021. Mr. Chairman, I so move. Second. I have a motion and a second. Commissioner Blair, Commissioner Phillips. Now questions. Seeing none, call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. 
Votes yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Votes yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Votes yes. 21 yes. Motion passes. Mr. Chairman? Yes, you're recognized, Mr. Phillips. Commissioner Phillips. have some members of the Airport Authority down in Smyrna with us, and I'd like to introduce those if I could. We have the Executive Director John Black. Black, if you'd stand and let us see you. He's been down there a long time, and we appreciate his participation. A board member, Mr. Salal Rai, is with us, I believe, as well. And uh, a, a very old hot rodder and hood from Smyrna uh, that graduated in the mighty class of 1966, Mike Woods, is with us. Uh, Mike is also a, a former member of this board. I think he served, was it eight or 12 years, Mike? Eight years uh, as a county commissioner representing the Smyrna area, and he's been uh, 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 working for the city of Smyrna for a number of years uh, as well uh, as their manager. And uh, once again, an old high school classmate of mine, and I uh, go back a long way with Mike, and I would hate for you to give him the mic and be able to explain some of the things that we did that maybe uh, were uh, cute uh, back in those days. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to thank these guys for their hard work and their participation uh, for what they've done for not only the city of Smyrna, but the county of Rutherford as well. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Mr. Woods, uh, I was going to say that uh, Commissioner Phillips was what, he, he was starting to meddle. He was meddling. When, when he was talking about being old, but he's he graduated with you, so I can't really say he was meddling. But uh, thank you all for what you do. Uh, the Smyrna Airport Authority, uh, the Smyrna Airport is a gem for for Rutherford County, and um, it's just going to continue to get better and better. So thank you for what you're doing down there for us, Commissioner P. Okay, now to the other business. The first item I want to talk about on the other business is actually some money that the state uh, unexpectedly handed down to us. We've already voted and accepted the drug court grant for this year. However, they insist on giving us another $67,300. So I thought it'd be a good idea for us to bring that amendment forward. But basically, uh, would like to, I'll make a motion to amend the drug court grant to allow the mayor to accept and to sign an additional $67,300. Mr. Chairman, I so move. I have a motion and a second. Commissioner Gooch on a second. Any objection? Call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? <coughs> Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Commissioner Harris? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Vote yes. I see Commissioner Virgil Gammon is back. Hello, yes. Vote yes. 21 yes. Motion passes. Thank you, Madam Clerk. <coughs> okay. The next item, actually the next two items, have got to do with our new health department director, um, LaShawn Matthews Dixon, uh, has received, was offered and received and accepted uh, the position from the state of Tennessee. She has, 
I think 15 years experience in this job and the lady she's replaced, Dana, uh, who unexpectedly passed away, I think she had 20 years. But at any rate, the amount of money that the state offered and what we would uh, like to pay, there is a difference there. And basically this is an amendment to request additional funding uh, that will come from us. This is a state paid position that she's got and I think it's $66,500, am I correct on that? Okay, and what we're proposing is to add $5,000 annually to review, to, and also for this to be reviewed annually uh, to this as a, as a stipend. This is, has presidents in other counties do the same thing. We've been very fortunate to have LaShawn fall in and, and be able to pick up uh, the big shoes that, that Dana wore. And she's done an excellent job for us. I think all of you can attest is how well the uh, COVID vaccination drive has been going. And not only has she done her old job, but she picked up Dana's job on top of that. But anyway, I wanna make a motion to this effect. This amendment is requested to provide funding for LaShawn Matthews Dixon to receive a salary supplement for the period of March 22nd, 2021 through June 30th, 2021, which will actually be $5,000 annually and for this to be reviewed annually. This year, uh, the amount between now and the end of the budget is $1,520. Mr. Chairman, I so move. Second. Uh, second, from Commissioner Gurley, any comments? I'll make a comment, Mr. Chairman, very quickly. I would like to personally recognize uh, Senator uh, Reeves and Representative Terry um, for their work when uh, <clears throat> the offer was made to um, uh, Ms. Dixon. It was uh, at the 66, she countered with 71. They came back and actually dropped it below the first offer at 66 and said 55. It was at that point in time I, uh, I, I engaged our uh, delegation in Nashville. Um, Senator Reeves is on the Senate Health and Education Health Committee. Chairman uh, Terry is actually the chairman of the House Health Committee, so two very powerful people they got a conference call with Commissioner Piercy and she didn't recollect anything because she said she signed off on 66 so something was going on but I, I want to thank them for getting engaged because LaShan has done a, an excellent job she was doing the work of two people when Dana passed away she picked up the, the baton and continued to carry us this summer through this pandemic she got things organized. It's, it, people are calling our county every day wanting to know how we're doing it and why it's so efficient and smooth uh, running here. A lot of that is to her credit. Um, and along with, uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and recognize uh, our IT team, Cody York, and his team developed our software program that is actually people can call and talk to a person compared to the state program. And it's just working beautifully. Uh, St. Thomas MTSU is both using our state reservation program uh, to go on to its covidrc.com. You call in, you get on there, no matter how old you are or young you are, you can go on and, and, and they will call you when it's your time based on your block, based on your age. So LaShan's done an excellent job and, and uh, I totally support this, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Commissioner Rather. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The whopping two and a half years I've been a county commissioner, <clears throat> um, don't have as much experience as some do. However, I have said for two and a half years, and I'll continue to say it, the greatest asset this county has are the employees. And I had an opportunity um, when we had a very bad thing with Dana, um, and then who's gonna fill those shoes? I did a little reading up on Miss Dixon, Mrs. Dixon. 
and fortunately I had an opportunity to have a conversation with her a couple weeks ago on the phone. I don't even know if she knew who I was or what I looked like because we've never talked. And I heard her words, but what I heard more than her words was her passion. And she made a comment about we all working together, and that's what she was here for, to make Rutherford County a great place to work, a great place to go to school, a great place to worship. And I heard the words, but I heard what was behind the words, and it was her passion. And the conversation I had with her was, was incredible. And I fully support this, and this is, we don't want to lose somebody like that to some other county. We need to keep her. Uh, absolutely. Not only is she, she's smart, she's also pretty and former Miss Tennessee. <laughs> My wife is listening. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's because I'm in that same category, Commissioner Phillips. I'm old, so I can say that. My wife won't get mad. Uh, other comments? Seeing none, call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Vote yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Vote yes. Twenty one yes, motion passes. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Okay, this last amendment also has to do with Miss Dixon, uh, Matthews Dixon. Um, this is to actually um, amend a couple of things. One is we have to, since she's leaving the county's employee and going to the state, we have to pay out the accrued leave balances for her county services. So that's part of this amendment. Also, uh, we're asking for uh, to provide a uh, additional compensation for the time and I think it was uh, well I've got it in in the motion from the time from when Miss Garrett passed and she picked up her duties basically she was doing her job and Miss Garrett's too so we're actually uh, wanting to bring up some money in back pay for that time period this amendment is requested to further to provide additional compensation for LaShawn Matthews Dixon for serving as the interim health department director from October 19, 2020 through March 19, 2021. This amendment also includes an estimate for the payout of accrued leave balances for her county service. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I so move. Motion. Second. Got a second. Commissioner Phillips, Commissioner Gurney. Any further discussion? Seeing none, call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner David Gammon? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Piercy? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Rather? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Buchanan? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Cush? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Reed? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gurley? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Blair? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Allen? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. 
Vote yes. Commissioner Virgil Gammon? Vote yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Dodd? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Key? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Vote yes. Commissioner Sereno? Yes. Vote yes. 21 yes. Motion passes. Thank you, Chairman. That concludes your report, and congratulations, Director Matthews. I guess I could, we can call you that. It must have touched you because you got a little tear, but uh, we're, we're glad that you are representing Rutherford County and, and the great state of Tennessee, so thank you. All right. I think that's we've done a lot of work tonight very quickly. So that brings us down to uh, statements and announcements. Commissioner P, it's ham time. That's right. Uh, the 20th of this month on Saturday, uh, Kittrell Volunteer Fire Department is going to have a ham breakfast. Uh, we're welcoming er everyone that would like to come out. Uh, it's from 6 to 10, and we appreciate your support. Thank you. Absolutely. Come out and support our local volunteer fire department at Kittrell. All right. Commissioner Cook, you recognize. Saturday is a uh, rescue squad's breakfast. Y'all come. This Saturday? Uh-huh. Second Saturday. Second Saturday. So it's competing with with Kittrell, right? So if you want an overload of potassium, you can start at North End or, or the... Huh? Sodium. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or get you a take home, right? Just go down and support both of them. Any other statements and announcements? One. Good. Nothing exciting tonight. And is there a motion to adjourn? Well, so moved. We stand adjourned.